I guess you would say you must have felt like you were ready. You said yesterday you thought you were ready. Yeah, yeah, no, I felt good. Um, I felt like I was seeing the ball well, um, going deep in the counts in each at bat. And uh, yeah, I mean, just fouling tough pitches off and um, putting the barrel on the ball, you know. So it was, uh, it was a good night overall. I felt like I saw it well and contributed. Was that rewarding for all the work you put in to get back as quickly as you did? Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Um, you know, it's uh, obviously been a tough year with the COVID and injuries and all that stuff. So it was a, it was a good feeling around the bases. Um, it's been a while. So uh, and being able to do that in a big spot in the game, um, you know, it definitely felt really good. And one other thing, what about you guys did hit four homers tonight? Uh, obviously, everyone talked about the other team hitting a lot of home runs. What did that say for your, your offense? Yeah, I mean, you know, for us, we just try to go up there one through nine um, and we have each other's back, you know. Um, guys having a tough game, I feel like the next guy up, you know, really picks them up. So, um, you know, I think for us, just continue to try to hit the ball hard, um, and especially in big situations and doing what we can. Uh, you know, our offense is, uh, you know, pretty deadly when we can do that. Hey, Austin. Nice shirt, by the way. Thank you. Um, you, you were one of the guys that were, that were around last year. It, it may seem like an obvious question, but how important was it for you guys to not go down 0-2 kind of like you did last year? And cause you guys got a, a chance to see how tough it is to kind of come back from that. Yeah, yeah. For us to be able to bounce back today, um, you know, was huge. Um, you know, I think for us, especially for our, for our pitching staff, give credit to them. Um, you know, Glass settling in and, uh, you know, the guys after him just – Lights out, especially Nick coming to the to the right there in that big situation, that big spot, and be able to uh, you know strike out the side was huge. So um, credits to our guys, you know credits to us for bouncing back. Um, obviously it was a it was a huge game tonight. Um, obviously don't want to go down to two zero. So us to even out the series and, and build that momentum into tomorrow, um, I think was huge. Austin, is it weird when uh, another team does the opener thing to you as opposed to you guys using the opener on other teams? Um, not really. No, I mean, I think I think for us, you know, we know we know what uh, you know we know their their plan and what they're trying to do. Um, you know, obviously, we don't see it a lot. Obviously, obviously, we do it a lot, but we don't see it a lot on the offensive side. So um, for us, just to try to put together good at bats, we know. We know, the, like I said, we know the game plan. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously tonight with Randy leading off of that home run, he's pretty, pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty unbelievable to watch out there. So um, be able to do that um, and get their, you know, their opener um, out early and then, you know, do our work off a of hat was, uh, was big. Hey, Austin, a couple of minutes ago, Cass said, when you build a winning culture, you expect to win. And, and after game one, we expected to win. How has that felt throughout the clubhouse, that type of confidence in that culture that you guys have created? Yeah, I mean, it's what we've had all year, you know. Um, you know, the postseason is nothing different than our mindset. You know, I think for us, we, we know we can win. We know we can compete against any team out there. Um, the Yankees are a great team, and we know that we can compete with them. Um, and for us to be able to be resilient and bounce back was, uh, was huge tonight um, and just – continuing to keep that, that confidence as a, as a team. We know it's in the clubhouse each and every day, and we know that we can compete with anybody. So um, that's definitely huge. And then what can you say about Randy? A couple minutes ago, Glass said he's the best player on the planet right now. Oh, he's unbelievable, man. He's fun to watch. Um, we, were joking, we were joking in the clubhouse. We need to follow Randy around and do everything he does so we can get, we can get some, uh, you know, get some, get some love in. So, no, he, he's, uh, he's really impressive. He has the ball hard um, to any part of the field. Um, you know, and he's a, he's a really, really good teammate too. So it's, uh, it's fun to, to, to watch him have this success. Do you have some boots too? Some cowboy boots? <laughs> yeah, I wish. I can't pull those up. Maybe I could, but maybe one day we'll see. <laughs> hey, Austin, how, how much did you guys prepare for Hap tonight compared to how much you prepared for Garcia, especially given uh, the fact that they didn't really telegraph their intent or, 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 or what their strategy was going to be? Yeah, uh, we knew there was going to be um, a lefty coming in after after Garcia, you know. So we've faced Hap before. Um, it's it's been a while for me, um, but I think for us, we uh, just to continue to try to keep a game plan. We we kind of knew it was going to be a left-handed pitcher, um, so just go out there and uh, you know, we know what he's got. So just give it give it our best shot, and I think we showed uh, that we competed well tonight. 